Western's Nakama conference this year, we talked about renewing energy and embracing change. And both of those things really start from within the self. And we're going to take a little break from our desks, from whatever we've been working on so diligently throughout the day, and relieve some of the energy from within our minds by attending to our bodies and cultivating energy there so that we can embrace and create change throughout the world. Start tuning into the physical body by sitting to the front of the chair and just wiggle. Pressing one sitting bone into the chair and then the other, allowing the shoulders to stretch up towards the sky. They say that the body is only as old as the spine is young, so wiggling can help keep a nice loose spine throughout the day. And oftentimes we'll sit at our desk with the knees splayed apart, but today we'll bring the outer edges of the feet parallel, the knees in line with the hips, and that helps to tone up the inner thighs and build strength around the knees. With the hands on the thighs, we'll roll the shoulders up, back, and down to lift the chest and pay attention to the sitting bones on the chair. Tilt the pelvis back and notice how the back rounds. Tilt the sitting bones forward and see that there's an arch in the low back. And doing pelvic tilts on the chair can help you find a balancing point where the sitting bones press evenly front to back into the chair and the back rises up out of the hip girdle nice and straight. Not rounded, not arched. Dig one by one heel into the ground and pay attention to the spine as the heels press down, the spine lifts up. Press the mounds of the big toes down into the ground and you'll begin to notice that that tones up the muscles around the knees. And pressing the mounds of the little toes into the ground helps to create lift and support to the inner arches. Our arches act as our shock absorbers as we walk around throughout the day. And the stronger our arches can be through pressing left and right heel down evenly, mounds of the big toes, mounds of the little toes, strengthening our shock absorbers of the arches can help protect the spine throughout the day. Place the fingertips behind the hips, roll the shoulders up, back, and down to broaden the collarbones. And see how much can you draw your shoulder blades closer to the spine and down the back body. Sitting bones press into the chair. Inhale to lift the chest. Extend the arms forward, palms face each other, shoulders roll up back and down, expand the arms away from each other, stretch out through the fingertips, bring the thumbs down into the palms, the fingers grasp around the thumbs, stretching out through the arms, draw the thumbs down towards the floor, pressing out through the top of the wrist bone, hands back to neutral, draw the fingertips forward, Press out through the back wrists. Hands back to neutral. Spread the fingers wide. Spreading the palms as wide as you can. Stretch out through the fingertips and reach the fingertips back towards the wall behind you, stretching out through the front wrists. Release the hands back to center. Hands on the thighs. Come up to standing and clasp the hands behind the back. Press the center of the heel left and right evenly into the ground. The mounds of the big toes, the mounds of the little toes. With the hands behind the back body, draw the sitting bones down to the earth. Keeping the sitting bones down, inhale, roll the shoulders up, back and down to lift the sternum up to the sky. Exhale, lead with the sternum, coming into standing forward bend. Keep the front body long. Release at the hips, release the spine out of the hips. Press the heels into the earth to shift the body weight forward. Press the heels into the earth to lift the sitting bones up, releasing the spine out of the hips. Draw back through the hands, roll those shoulders. 
up, back, and down, stretching the hands away from the head and neck. Keep the head and neck totally relaxed. Inhale, stretch through the spine, stretch back through the hands to come back up to standing. And release the clasp of the hands. Raise the left arm up to the sky and stretch up through the fingertips. Turn from the hips to your right and ground the back of the left hand to the back of the left knee. Place the right fingertips to the back of your chair and tilt the sitting bones forward to bring the back from rounded up to straight. Inhale, lift through the chest, lift through the crown. Exhale, press the hand into the knee and rotate at the hips. Look out over the right shoulder. Inhale to lengthen through the crown. Exhale, turn back to center. Raise the right fingertips up to the sky, reaching up high. Exhale, turn at the hips, ground the back of the right hand to the outer left knee. Left fingertips come to the back of the chair. Once again, inhale, lift through the chest, lift through the crown. Exhale, press the hand into the knee. Rotate deeper in the hips. Inhale to lift, keeping the lift of the spine. Exhale, turn back to center. Hug the left knee up into the chest. Inhale to lift the sternum. And if your knee feels happy here, hips are relatively loose today, bring the top of the left ankle onto the right knee. Press out through the center of the heel, the big toe mound, the little toe mound. And without pressing the knee down to the ground, we're going to stretch the hip here. We don't want to compromise the knee by pressing it down. So hands to the thighs, up by the hips. Inhale, reach the chest to the sky. With a tall front body, exhale, lead with the sternum and begin inching the sternum forward closer to the shin bone. Look down towards the ground to keep the back of the neck long and only reach so deep with the sternum down to the ground as far as your hips and your knee feel happy. Don't force anything here because the knee is a vulnerable joint. We don't want to damage it. Inhale, lengthen the sternum forward. Exhale, tall chest, come back up to sitting. Release the left foot down. Inhale the right knee up into the chest. Reaching the sternum up to the sky. Exhale, soften the hips. If your legs are happy here, bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. Once again, hands up close to the hips. Press out through the inner heel, mound of the big toe, mound of the little toe. And that helps keep integrity within the leg. The muscles staying toned here protects the knee once again, a vulnerable joint. Inhale, lift the sternum up to the sky with a tall chest. Exhale, lead with the sternum, drawing it closer towards the shin bone, looking down towards the ground, back of the neck, is long, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, lengthen the front body. Exhale, soften the hips. On an inhalation, lead with the sternum back up to the sky. Exhale, release the foot back down to earth. And enjoy the rest of your day.